Hello folks, Jason Chrisman, JC's Bees, your Central Ohio beekeeper. Today what we're going to be doing is inspecting my apame colonies. Been busy around the farm. It's been about two months since I've done, well, really anything with these colonies. So today we're going to dive in, see how they're doing. Um, the one apame wood hive upgrade kit, um, my last knowledge of going through that colony they were queenless and they needed a queen the colony i'm going through right now that's the ergo kit and i've been very impressed with it to this point i've set all these colonies up this year and um, so far i have nothing but good things to say about apame so let's jump right in here see how the colonies are looking and um, see how my bees are doing so looks like the girls have been quite busy but if we look, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six of the top frames have bees on them and comb drawn out. The seventh frame, they're building comb on. These two last frames, they haven't got to yet. We'll remove my frame spacers, which I will say they did propolize in pretty darn well. If you see my last video on the apame equipment um, I was pretty impressed how how well stuff moved around yet and wasn't probabilized in place now people with apame equipment that used it for a while told me don't worry they will glue it in place um, the people of from apame told me um, they will glue it but it'll still move more freely than if it was wood which makes sense woods pores so let's pull out these end frames here so we don't squish anybody so if you remember this was a package I started back in April they've done quite well for me um, to this point Now I have yet to experiment with the pollen trap on this colony, but I think I'm about to do that here real soon. At least for a few days, maybe a week, just to see uh, how well it works. So those are the two frames, They're, they haven't really touched a whole lot yet. Okay, so let's get down here where they're they're starting to draw some comb, store some honey maybe, maybe raise some brood. You can see a little bit of comb being drawn out on that side. A little bit being drawn out here. No eggs or anything, no nectar, anything of that sort. We'll go ahead and set it back in there and we'll grab the next frame. On this side, nothing stored in it yet, but if I turn it sideways, you can probably see there is some nice comb drawn on there. On this side, we've got lots of comb with nectar in it. Now, a lot of people questioned why I used the plastic foundation and left these plastic supports in the Apame Pro frames. And the reason that I did that was, if I ever extract honey from these frames, I figured this extra support is, uh, well, it could be helpful. So I left it. All nectar. I'm, I'm really, I'm flabbergasted by the fact that we still have a, a nectar flow few eggs on the bottom of this frame on this side at the bottom here but for the most part it's all nectar either capped or wet I tell you for what I'm seeing here at the top I'm not sure that I need to inspect the full colony just because they they look so darn well look at this frame 
This weighs every bit of 10 pounds, this one frame. So I guess you could say I could steal some honey from here real soon and see how well these frames extract. Which I just got an email from a guy going on vacation and he would like to slide in and on his way through on vacation and swap a bottle of honey. So, hey, I might just have the honey. Yeah, keep in mind, um, honey production is not what I shoot for. I sell bees, I don't push a whole lot of honey sales, so for me to have honey in a bottle for more than just myself is a rare occurrence. Look at all that brood. So I wasn't sure really what I was going to tell the guy when I emailed him back, but looks like I found some frames that I could extract some honey from. That's cool. I tell you folks, I really don't see any reason to go pulling out several 10 pound frames and hold them in front of the camera. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is slide these frames back into position. I seen brood, so the queen's doing well. I seen eggs, so I know she's just laid. Um, yeah, I really don't have any reason to just stand out here in my bee suit, sweat bullets, and hold frame by frame for the camera. Uh, you know, just doesn't really make sense to me. And, you know, I'm putting stress on the bees. They don't want to be bothered. That's really my main reason. It ain't that I don't want to stand here and sweat bullets. Okay, I'm lying. So I think what we'll do, since we've seen that how quick, or this went so quick, and we can tell that this colony is doing rather well, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, We'll move on down the line here and see how the Apame Wood Hive Upgrade Kit that I set up this year where the package is doing. Now if you remember with it, they were having a problem um, with the queen. Um, it was a three pound package also, but for some reason, I don't know, they didn't have a queen when I inspected them. Could have been a multitude of things why they didn't have a queen, so. But any reason, anyway, um, they didn't have a queen on the last inspection, so yeah, let's go through it real quick and see how it's looking. Okay, so let's see if they have a queen. That would be awesome. Had huge plans for this colony and honey production, and uh, that just didn't pay off for me because of the queen issue. I had some... Uh, frames that round comb frames that Sarah Sal sent me I plan to stick on here and uh, the queen lack of a queen set the production of the colony back and uh, I just didn't they didn't have the bees to draw out a second box so I wasn't able to get the second box on here but let's see what's Let's see how they're doing now. Okay, let's start pulling frames on this end, I guess. Since the bees are at the other end. And now we'll slide these over. What I want to see is some brood. And here we go. Look at that. We got brood. We've got eggs. This colony might be back on track, folks. We got brood there at the bottom of the frame, or on my side, and at the top, your side, we've got the capped nectar. So, I seen eggs on that frame and capped brood. So that's a good sign. Let's hope that we see more of that continue as we check a couple more of these frames.
Oh yeah, that's all laid out in young larvae. I shouldn't say young larvae. Larvae of different ages. And right there is the queen. So that's pretty darn cool. I think what I'm going to do is kind of checkerboard it and stick this frame right down in here. i seen what I needed to see. They've got a queen. Things are looking up. I gave them a blank frame in between some drone frames. That'll encourage them to draw that out. Often bees don't like to move close to the edge. So you move that edge frame in for a little while and move one they've already worked to the outside. That can work in your favor. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick on a queen excluder and I'm going to throw the second box on. So these are the frames I was telling you about from Saracel. I'm very excited to experiment with these, see how well they do. Now this isn't really nothing too out of the ordinary. The only real difference here is that they're deep frames versus the normal shallow frames that the Ross rounds are. I do have some concerns though with this extra space over here. So I'm going to see if I can get a regular frame, deep frame, to take that space up. Okay, so we've got a deep frame here of drawn comb. Perfect. Otherwise, they're going to draw some nasty burr comb over there, and I don't really want that. So what we'll do is we'll push all this stuff and kind of center it in the middle, like so. We'll put our feeder lids up here now, which we won't be filling because, you know, we want to extract honey from them if they draw them out. But these also act as our inner cover. Whammo bammo. And just take a gander at how nice that looks. I just love the Hoover Hive boxes with that Apame kit. This looks so sweet. So sweet. Let's peek in this seven framer real quick. What the heck? Hi girls. Look at that. A little bit of burkum on the bottom of there. Now, if you're not aware, these feeders can actually sit in the lid and not squish bees. You just turn the lid upside down. The hardest thing for me to get used to with this Apame equipment is not setting my smoker on the, on the hives. I actually told the wife it would be easier for me to get a pot holder to sit on the Apame hives and set my smoker on it still than to train myself than to train myself to not set my smoker on the Apame hives. So as I was going through the seven frame Apame colony, of course the battery goes dead on my GoPro camera. So what I did was I took my cell phone and I took some pictures of, of the few frames that, that they are starting to draw out and do something with. And I'm gonna share those frames with you here now. This is the first frame I pulled out. Um, you can see it's kinda got a little bit of wonky comb down at the bottom. But at the same time, it's getting so late in the year, I don't think I'm going to scrape that off right now. Maybe I'll wait till spring and scrape the bottom off um, and clean it up a little bit. But you can see there's some cat brood, some nectar, um, pretty much life of all stages right there on that frame. Here is a close up of the wonky comb that I'm talking about at the bottom. You can see the comb is kind of out away from the foundation where the bees can go behind it. I don't really like that because what happens is as the queen can hide under there. And when you go to single out the queen, maybe you need to remove her for some reason or another, she'll hide underneath there and you'll never find her. So here is the next frame over. Um, you can see brood of all stages. Um, there was some open larva and eggs in the center of this frame. Here is the far side of the frame. Pretty much got the same scenario on it. Brood of all stages. And here is a picture of my queen. I love them tiger striped queens. Love them. 
and this is the last frame that they are working and if you look towards the bottom they've kind of got some of that wonky front uh, comb um, it's not even necessarily all towards the bottom on the right half of the frame that whole section of comb looks like it's off of the foundation like I said I'm not gonna worry about it right now but next year I'll probably have to scrape that piece of comb off um, put some more wax on the foundation and um, therefore the bees will draw it out and in case you're wondering that's why the bees drew it like they did there wasn't enough wax on the plastic foundation and that is it folks so that was the inspection of the seven frame colony sorry you missed it sorry the gopro failed me again but it is what it is in the life of a creator so if you have any questions or comments about this video leave them down below um i appreciate you taking the time to uh tune in and watch it um and one more thing if you're interested in trying out any of the apame equipment I am an affiliate and I will leave a link down below. It's not that I'm pushing the Apame equipment on anybody, but I'll tell you they are top notch bee boxes and um, I really like them. And I'm sure if anybody purchased them, they'd be just as happy as I am. So thanks again, folks, and we'll see you next week.